one of the questions I often ask in change management is how many of your previous programs and plans have been delivered on time? And I never get an answer of all of them. Zero, nada, ever. So, okay, then. Right. Well, let's look at the, the analysis of those things. How many were off track? How long? What was the cost of that? What was the delay time? Now apply some red teaming, red team thinking concepts to that, and then remeasure that a year or six months or whatever downrange. And that to me is you're bringing down that error margin rather than, you know, rather than increasing something from zero. But yeah, so talking about the recent, absolutely, 100%. And talking about the recent client we had, often, you know, the ideal time to red team is before you go into the planning and strategizing. But, you know, this was created to wire brush your strategies. And this organization, a global capability, had a 2.5 billion strategy that they'd started in January. And we'd gone in to do a, a 12 month program with them and we went into the, the second phase in February. And when we were using their strategy, we were looking at that with three of the tools. And we just spent three afternoons with some of their core people who were involved in all different sections and parts of delivery of this uh, strategy, which was great because you had the execution, you had the guys at the front line, you had the people in the you know, main level offices. So you had a real 360 perspective on all levels of what was going on. And the whole general perspective of this plan was it wasn't a great strategy and they were concerned and they were like, oh, if only we'd, you know, that old thing we always hear, if only we'd had the chance to do this before we launched the plan. So, well, okay, you've launched the plan, but you're not executing it all at once. This is a two-year plan. So what is it that you're doing in the next six months? What do you not agree with? What's the concerns and challenges? So we went through some of those things. And as always, we surfaced through the analysis of the team, lots of problems that they started to then challenge again. And then they made recommendations. I said, well, simple thing now is go back, make those recommendations to whoever's the, you know, holding the pen and see what happens and make them now with the evidence you've got rather than just going, it's a bad plan and won't work. And two weeks later, I got a phone call from their director. I got a message on LinkedIn. He said, can I can I have a chat? I called him up. He said, mate, he said, we've just saved 10 million pounds already in executing on some of those recommendations we've made. And that's in the first two weeks of coming back. And he said, we've got another 20 months ahead. So you know, he said, I can't wait. We've got another session with him in April, then another one in June. He said, but just taking A, the right people. And this is what's key about red teaming. We could all go out into red team tomorrow and you'll fail miserably. You have to have the right people. And he, he was really focused on, with our help, bringing in that diverse group of people from all, you know, all walks of life, all sections of the business. So he got to hear the things that he wouldn't normally have heard. And they weren't shy and holding back once they had the tools and techniques. But the the revelations that came out and the angst and concerns that people had normally mumbled about at the cooler or mumbled about in the back room when nobody else was listening got surfaced in a very collegial way. And when you surface them in that way, as we always say, you can't ignore it. You can't unsee the problem that you've said. It wasn't Marcus saying, hey, this is a problem. They surfaced that themselves collectively. And then this thing's sat in the middle of the table like a monster going, okay, what are you going to do with this now? And they did something with it and they took that away and they saved 10 million pounds for three afternoons worth of work. And we did not charge them 10 million pounds. <laughs> Nor did we do a percentage <laughs> cut on the revenue increase. Which I know. We, 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 we got to figure out how to get people to do that because <laughs> I never signed up for that, did they? Go on, no. tell me this one. Well, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll, the, the biggest the biggest dollar sign we have, and again, boy, I wish we could figure out how to make our contract so that we get a percentage of money saved. Um, if anyone wants to take us up on that, we will we will work for a percentage of money saved. Indeed. Um, the uh, we I I was working this before we started working together. Even this was probably uh, four or five years ago. I was working with one of the big Wall Street banks, who shall remain nameless, um, and doing a in addition to, to doing training like we, we, we do, we also sometimes when organizations don't really want to take the time to learn to do this themselves, mm -hmm. we're not consultants. We won't come in and do it for them. But we what we will do is come in and lead them through a red teaming exercise on a, on a strategy or plan. And in this case, we were working, and this is still the only time I've encountered this 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 word in a strategy <laughs> that I've been working on. A I'm laughing because of that one's coming. Yes, one trillion dollar strategy. Trillion. One trillion dollars. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> <laughs> Come on. 
I know. I don't have a cat. You have a cat. I do. Uh, oh, he's in the kitchen. The uh, and and that was uh, it was an entirely new financial product, and they estimated that over the next decade, this was going to generate one trillion dollars in revenue for them. And so we started. We started on the first day, and we, uh, you know, I led them through several of the different techniques that we teach. We did assumptions challenge. We did pre mortem analysis. We ended the day with pre mortem analysis, and the head of the business unit went went home. She came in the next morning. I met with her half an hour before we kicked off to see how things have been going. And she had dark circles under her eyes. I said, you okay? You feeling okay? And she said, I didn't sleep last night at all. <clears throat> she said, I, there were a couple of things that came out of yesterday that kept me up all night because I was like, we've been working on this for two years. Why, mm -hmm. why did, are we just seeing these now? And I said, well, let's, let's test them further using, using another technique. Uh, let's use devil's troika on them this morning. When we were done with that at lunchtime, she said, I don't think we need to do the rest of the afternoon session. She said by then she, she and some other team members had identified a potentially fatal flaw in the strategy. And, you know, she said to her team, this is, this is serious. I mean, you know, I don't know how we missed this, but now that we see it, you know, I, I, I can't in good conscience go forward with the strategy. We need to address it. And it's going to take a while because we're going to have to rethink a, a few major parts of the strategy. And so she went and she met with the chairman of the bank, um, a name that everyone would be familiar with, and uh, came back and said, uh, "Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hold this strategy for six months, and we're gonna take wow. what we learned, and we're gonna redo it." And and they did redo it, and it launched successfully. And I asked her later, this is over a year later. I said, "How much do you think you guys saved by by fixing this?" And she said, "At least ten billion dollars, probably a lot more." And, uh, I said, wow, I said, you know, I, you know, next time I come in, maybe we can do a percentage. Just, just 0.1% will do it. Then. Yeah. I'd be happy with, with, <laughs> with 0.1%. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's, you know, this is, this is real. I mean, this is, this is how, when you're dealing with high stakes plans, it, it can be that significant.